The International Monetary Fund has cut its 2014 growth forecast for Russia and expects capital outflow of $100 billion this year. Pronouncing the country in recession made more uncertain by international sanctions imposed on Moscow over the crisis in Ukraine. The fund's mission chief to Moscow, Antonio Spilimbergo, also told reporters the IMF expected Russia to grow just 0.2% this year, compared with an earlier forecast of 1.3%, and added there were considerable downside risks. The um, um, difficult situation, and especially the uh, uncertainty surrounding the geopolitical situation and follow-up on sanctions and escalation on sanctions. Uh, we acknowledged the difficult situation on investor climate. What we have noticed is that uh, the fear of sanctions could be even more powerful than sanctions. The events are very recent and so it's difficult to find hard uh, indicators. Uh, there are some hard indicators, but there is a lot of evidence that uh, investment is taking a hit and in both in public companies and in private companies and of course in foreign companies. If you define a recession as two successive uh, uh, quarters with negative growth, uh, Russia is experiencing a recession now. But Moscow residents and a legislator were more bullish on the economy, saying the West would feel the effects of their actions more acutely than Russia. The economy contracted quarter on quarter in the first three months of this year, and Spidenbergo's comments made clear he expected further contraction. He said the IMF forecast was for 1% growth in 2015. The central bank's decision to raise interest rates last week would reduce inflation but would not be enough. The IMF said depreciation in the ruble would put pressure on the inflation, but forecast consumer prices would rise more than 6% in 2014.